here for? I'm back in my living room library, ready to read you another book. And I've got my friends here with me, Penelope, and at the back here I've got, if you can see, I've got the big bad wolf, monkey, bear, and even Humpty Dumpty. Now, this afternoon I want to read you, My Teacher is a Monster. No, I am not. And I have to be honest with you, this is going to be the second time today I'm going to read this book and do it in the camera. Because the first time, I couldn't get the whole book in. It's not easy reading books to a camera and getting it right. So, let's talk about the book. This book is authored by Peter Brown. And I don't see any other name on the front or the back. So that means Peter Brown must be the author and the... And if you thought illustrator, then you're correct. So, My Teacher is a Monster. No, I am not by Peter Brown. Illustrated by Peter Brown. Bobby had a big problem in school. Her name was Ms. Kirby. Robert, but look. Move it or lose it, Ms. Kirby stomped. Settle down, Ms. Kirby roared. No recess for children who throw paper airplanes in class. Ms. Kirby was a monster. Bobby spent his free time in the park trying to forget his teacher problems. But one Saturday morning, on the way to his favorite spot, Bobby found a terrible surprise. <gasps> what do you think the surprise was? Let's see. Oh! Look who's in the park, Ms. Kirby. She doesn't look any happier to see Bobby than Bobby looks to see her. Bobby wanted to run. He wanted to hide. But he knew that would only make things worse. Bobby raises his hand. Ms. Kirby says, Bobby, but she always calls him Robert, you don't need to raise your hand out here. What were you going to say? I was going to say, hello, Ms. Kirby. Hello, Robert. I like your enormous hat, Ms. Kirby. Thank you, Robert. Ms. Kirby, it's really strange seeing you outside of school. And Ms. Kirby says, I agree. There was an awkward silence and then a gust of wind changed everything. <gasps> That's my favorite hat. My dear old granny gave it to me. Don't let it get away. Got it. Oh, Robert snatched that hat just before it went over the side of the, of the grass into the water. Oh, Bobby, you are my hero. Oops, oops. I mean, that was very good of you, Robert. You're welcome, Ms. Kirby. Now we have some interesting characters coming into the story. Quack! Not that there's anything interesting about ducks. These ducks sure do like you. Quack, quack! They know I enjoy quacking with them. Quack, quack! Quack, quack! Quack, quack! Here we go. You can join if you want. Quack, quack! Quack, quack! Quack, 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 quack! Are your parents going crazy now with all the quacks? Well, it's time to stop. 
When they were all quacked out, Bobby had an idea. You should see my favorite spot in the park. Be careful. Yes, Miss Kirby. Have you guys noticed something interesting is happening? This is lovely. And then Ms. Kirby had an idea. She went into her purse and she gave Bobby Robert a piece of paper. He folded the paper and he made a paper airplane. Bobby tossed his paper airplane into the sky and it flew and it flew and it flew. I think that was probably the greatest single paper airplane flight in history. I think you're right. Look at Ms. Kirby. By lunchtime, Bobby and Ms. Kirby were happy they had bumped into each other, but they were ready to say goodbye. See you Monday, Bobby. Bye, Ms. Kirby. I hope you've seen that, that something interesting has happened to Ms. Kirby, and not only is she changing, but she's changing how she is calling Robert slash Bobby. Coming through, back at school, Ms. Kirby still stomped. And then the bear said, roar! And Ms. Kirby still roared. But was Ms. Kirby still a monster? Great job, Bobby. Robert! Okay, so now, year three and year four, that was a pretty entertaining book. Maybe you can tell me though, when was Ms. Kirby a monster? Why was Ms. Kirby a monster? And whose perspective is this story about? Now, perspective is always an interesting thing in a book. So from Bobby's perspective, his teacher was a... And from Ms. Kirby's perspective, Bobby was a... Maybe not a monster, but he was certainly naughty until they found out about each other. So, that was a great little book. So, thank you very much for listening to our story. Until the next time, be well and be good. Don't be a Robert. Bye.